welcome back to the channel so today's the big day and i'm excited because this is the kind of stuff that got me in the business 25 years ago guys so these candy paints are the ones that drove me to be uh what i am today so i still love what i do and now i'm doing what i used to do at the beginning of my career so it feels pretty good to get back into doing uh a nice candy on the cutlass so we're not sure what color yet like you guys know but we're headed over now to pick up my wheels so we can put them on the car take the other ones off so we don't over spray it and then we'll start this uh respray job so i hope you guys are ready for it it's going to be a good one so stay tuned as we uh start day one and it's february 26 2022 we'll see how long it takes us to get it done because we're going to be working on this in and out like you guys would at home so we're going to start this build at my house and then we'll move on to different places to uh get it done through it so stay tuned all right here's the wheels that i came to pick up from my personal place and uh we're gonna end up probably painting these when we do the car. We'll redo these and make them the color that we end up going with. But while I'm here, I wanted to show you my booth. And this is my own personal booth. I had to fix the lights on it. I told you guys that uh, they were out because I haven't been over here in a long time. I had kind of stayed away from here and just focused on work. And uh, now I'm gonna get back into showing you guys some paint jobs over here and uh, using this booth up again. So it's just an old cross flow, but it works, it does well. So guys, I know how it is to sand and buff everything because I, before I put this booth in this place, I used to paint them right in the middle. So this helps me out and it got it cleaner and it just kept overspray off of everything. So just wanted to show you the booth and uh, with the lights all working. So we're good to go. Fans working, we're all good, and uh, let's get these wheels back to the house and start this whole job. And while I'm here, I figured I'd show you my old cabinet with all my candies and my flakes and some of my different stuff that I used to use back in the old days. The outrageous shock waves, this is really a nice one, this Tobago Bay. All my pearls. And uh, a lot of stuff I did back in the old days was custom, so we're gonna get back into doing some more of that and just I got a lot of paint, this old mixing system here of this uh, Nexa Auto Color. So all the stuff I got is uh, been here a long time. So I got my scale. I used to be set up pretty good. And there's my filter for the booth. So let's get these wheels back to the house. And we even got our own gun washer over here that I never ended up hooking up, but I have it all. So my old uh, graffiti candy man that I had on the wall from years back. All right, so we're back at the house now and I wanna do a quick walk around of the car to anybody that's new to the channel that may not have seen the car. So let's do a quick walk around and this will be the last time we see this thing all together until it's a different color. So it's a 72 Cutlass convertible. This is the original flame orange and it's got uh, been repainted before. Years ago, I picked this car up and uh, we're gonna be reshooting this one here putting something real nice on it. And uh, this is the beginning video day. So I got the garage all cleaned out for us to start working on it today. And I just wanted to do a uh, first video walk around. That way we could see what we're starting out with here. And we're gonna be pulling the wheels off, detrimming it all, reshooting the whole car inside and out. And uh, just wanted to show you the uh, start. So if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. And uh, here goes this uh, beginning day.
All right, so we're all on jack stands, wheels are off, and now's the best time to take your wheel well trim off because you got access to these screws a lot easier than with the wheels on. So I'm gonna start here, R and I these wheel well trims, and then we'll go on from there. So like I said, let's show you why I wanna repaint this car now that I could, I get it in the light here. I'm not sure if I could show you, but it's got little small waves here and there on it. When you get down here on this molding, you could see them. And it's hard for you guys to see it, but this is the reason why we're gonna reshoot this one. So we gotta detrim it now. And uh, now's the time when you wanna get your uh, wheel well trim off while the wheels are off. So let's do that now. Right, so I took that first wheel well off and uh, you guys are gonna see, I'm gonna just run around and do those, but make sure you guys get some Ziploc baggies and keep all your screws together with each molding. And that's the same way you wanna do the whole job as you're doing this. Label all your screws, parts, and everything, keep them together. That way when you go back, you know where everything is and you can put it back together quicker. So also I was gonna tell you, as you're taking it apart, make sure you document anything that breaks and get that coming because with this shortage of all these parts and different things you need for the cars, you're gonna wanna get that going ahead of time. So as we go, if we break things, we need stuff, we're gonna go ahead and mark it, write it down and uh, get it coming. That way we have it for the time that this thing is uh, done hopefully. So I'm gonna finish taking the rest of the screws out and we'll move on to the next step. All right, now we're gonna move on to this lower rocker. While I'm under here, might as well get him off because he's, uh, I gotta get down on this too. So get this stuff off while the car's in the air. Otherwise you guys are gonna be fighting screws and stuff like that. So do all that stuff, think from the bottom up while you got it up in the air and start taking off the lower stuff while it's up. And then you can move on to the rest of it. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the rockers off too on this side. Now these have clips also with the screws on the bottom. It pulls out and then it lifts up and just slides up right off these clips. So this one might have a bolt. Nope. So that's just that. It's got the screws here and then it slides off of these clips which catch this lip on here. So those are all good. So far, so good. <clears throat> I don't see any rust. That looks like from the last guy when he was doing it. He marked the uh, spot where he screwed this in. So we know when the last time he did it, they did something here and you could see the old compound dust. I mean, uh, residue from him buffing it. So, so far, so good. And they even treated the holes where the uh, screws went in so they didn't rust with some kind of a tar. So that worked out well for me. So we'll pull the other side and then we'll move on to the next step. And this side's clean too. So hopefully we're gonna find nothing but clean stuff on this thing and I don't get into a lot of work, so. But there's all the suspension I had done. The new A-arms, the new QA1s, the brakes, the sway bars and all that stuff. So the bottom on this thing is real fresh. Now, once we make the outside nice, it'll be beautiful. So let's move on to the next step. I think I'll go ahead and pull these lights out of here while I'm in here. All right, so these, once I took the screws out, this is the backing plate that holds the light in. And when you put the uh, screws in, it pulls tight to it. So it's an older setup. So I got the bolts out and this should come out now, hopefully. That's that, we'll do that on the other side and we'll do the back ones too. Looks like it's a three piece molding. These little corners come off separate and then that one big one in the middle. And now we got this little one left, separate piece. 
And I like using these nylon tools because they don't uh, gouge the paint or dent it. So use these, these nylon clip tools. These little uh, emblems while we're here. Like I said, use this because it, it doesn't chip the paint. And these just pry in. They got little clips on them that come off. So we'll save all these and reuse them. Hopefully once I get it painted and we put these back, they look nice because I don't want to put old stuff back that doesn't look like it needs it. These aren't too bad. They do have a little bit of pitting in them. So I don't know, I'm gonna see what I could do with these. So let's remove the rest of these. Now we'll go ahead and remove the uh, key mechanism for the trunk. And on these old ones, it's just a thing that slides around the actual lock itself. So you pry this out and then it'll come right out of there. So, and this was a problemed area here from the last guy, he didn't scuff it good. And this paint's peeling off. So we're gonna have to address this when we get to it. I've seen that on a lot of cars through the years, but this paint's flaking off, it tightens up and it, you could tell it was done a long time ago. So once we get into the trunk and cutting it in, we'll get all this cleaned off here. But we do have to order new stickers for the, uh, the jack and then the jack storage. So we'll put that on a list of what we need. And these little rubber grommets one was missing over here in this corner. This one was still on, but it was already broke. So we're gonna have to get two of these for the trunk. We'll put that down on the list. So list, list your parts. This is the only spot on this vehicle that I've noticed paint was peeling off. So a lot of these trunks are known to rust, especially around these emblem holes. But this is all solid so far. So we're good on the outside, but so far, it looks like it was just not sanded very well when they did the cut in on it. You can see where they had the valleys and they didn't sand it well, because that's where it's pulling out. When this paint dries up, it tightens. And as it tightens, it'll pull away from areas that aren't sanded good. So they didn't sand in here really well when they did this years ago. And we'll get all that fixed up when we get to that. But I haven't seen any rush yet. Looks like just bad. Uh, prep so go ahead and pull these corners off while we're here next we got to disconnect the wires here for the actual lights because these lights are connected to the bumper on this car so to un undo the bumper we're going to go ahead and pull all that out as an assembly so the harness runs on the inner trunk here and it sits inside these little holders for the wiring harness so this is how this car is and uh, we'll go ahead and pull these wires loose, unplug them all now for the rear bumper to come off. And before you do anything to the car, when you start the job, make sure you pull the uh, battery terminals loose. You don't want any power to the car when you're doing this stuff. So just thought I'd remind you of that. I didn't tell you guys that in the beginning. So these plugs come from the uh, bumper up through here and you slide them down through the grommet holes on this car here. So these are the plugs. Everything is now behind uh, behind the bottom and we're going to go ahead and pull the bumper off. All right, we got it all loose, but one bolt and I got my jack underneath it. Now we're going to go ahead and remove this nice and easy because this is a one man show right now. So take care. Make sure you, you know, do all the safety things. Don't just drop this down on you. Make sure you get some help and uh, don't follow my footsteps on this one. So stay tuned as we pull this loose. All right, you guys can see the front bumpers off now. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the um, lights and the grill and all this stuff here. I already went ahead and took off the uh, trim of the front hood. And I got a piece in the back. And then these two on the fenders here, we'll go after those. So let's do that part now. Yeah, that light, that front bumper was really light. It looked heavy, but it wasn't. We'll start taking off this here. And this is a lot of little details and taking it apart, but it's not too bad. Considering these newer cars have a lot more hardware than these old cars did. And I haven't worked on one of these before, but I've done a lot of the, uh, you know, 
old Impalas and stuff, and they're all the same, these cars, the way they were built. So we'll finish taking off the other bezel and we'll see what this header panel's about here with these grills. So stay tuned to that part and we're almost getting along pretty good on it. All right, we got our two headlight bezel painted pieces off and then we got our center section here. That's all taken off now. And now we just have to take off the rest of the silver parts because that's gotta be uh, taken off so we can paint this center. So we gotta pull the emblem and we'll do that later. But you see it's all off and the whole front end's off now. We got the uh, bumper off, the um, headers off and the grill area is all off. So this had bolts coming through to the header. In here, you gotta remove the battery and you get to the bolts coming through here. Let me light this up for you. But there's some uh, bolts in there that connect to the header through here. So if you guys are getting into these old GMs. So that's the uh, front end. We'll take this trim off the back of the hood. We'll take these off of the fenders and then we'll uh, move on to the uh, door panels. I gotta wash my hands because I don't want to dirty all that white up so all right so the next deal is taking the door panels off so we could take the mirrors off the handles off and then the belt moldings once we do that we'll step over here to this section here and then it'll fully be detrimmed for the deal so let's go ahead and do that i had to get my uh old school spring remover tool for the glass you guys know about these so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now and then i'm gonna start pulling the panel off All right, I got that panel off and I was a really happy when I opened up that door panel and I seen how nice that inner door uh, was. I couldn't believe it because I had told you guys before this was the original orange. So they still had the, uh, somebody had worked on this car. It looks like it says Jimmy back in 2001 is when they must have did this job. So like I said, it's been a minute, 20 years ago, but look at the nice detail they went through in uh, taking it apart, putting it back together. And that's how we're gonna try to do it too. Cause I wanna keep it as nice as I can. But this car was rust proof back from the factory. It's got all the factory plugs for the rust. And uh, we'll want to keep it as intact, as nice as we can and keep it clean. I don't know if you guys can see deep in here, but it's got all that uh, undercoat proofing done to it. So real nice and clean. All inside here looks really good. So, so far I've been getting lucky and haven't found too much problems because you know how it is when you take something apart. So let's go ahead and uh, Get this felt off, pull this off, and uh, pull the handle off, and then we'll be back onto the other side. So we went ahead and took the bracket off, and now we'll just slide out the cable. And this is the old school style that this has, so we gotta get it out of here. And it's got the old style uh, mechanical maneuver. So that's off. And now we'll start on the felt. We might have to pull the glass. I'm not sure yet. So, and so yes, you do have to pull the glass cause this doesn't roll down far enough to get all the screws out without screwing up something or scratching your glass. So don't take a chance on that. And we're gonna go ahead and pull these bolts and then we'll have the glass out of here. All right, we got the glass out. Make sure you're careful with your glass, getting it out and not scratching it because this glass is really clean on this car. So I want to keep it as best as shape as I can. Let's move this and uh, get this felt out of here. All right, let's go ahead and pull the, the felt molding off now.
and that's that so that's off now and we'll do the handle next and this door will be fully detrimmed so these are just very basic the way these go in just two bolts and that mechanism it's funny it just pushes against the inner it's a lot different than the newer cars with rods and all that stuff so that's the whole mechanism of the handle we'll pull the lock out and this door will be fully detrimmed and that holds the lock on just basic old school stuff and it just comes out so there's no rods or any of that stuff in these old cars so that door is done make sure we put that on so we can open it so you got you guys see now i got the handle off mirrors off belt moldings off this trim's off now the emblems are off and that trim on the hood's off so we get that back trim off around them quarters and around that back panel there and we're ready to go for the d-trim until we do the inner when we pull the doors i'll pull all the weather strips and all that so let's finish this one up all right this door is all done too we got the glass out and i was real happy again this is the original doors on this car both doors are original and uh in really good shape so the more i find the better off i am and the happier i am so i'm real lucky that i actually got a clean car here you know people tell you this and tell you that but this was definitely a solid old car so we're gonna finish up here with this last bit of pulling off this trim around the quarters and i gotta pull the rear seat out to get these inner quarter pieces off i might have to pull these off so this will be the final part, and then I'll show you a walk around of the job. All right, we went ahead and got all the inner, inner back seat out, the rear back seat, and look how solid this floor is on this car. This is not rust. This is like a brown primer. When they sealed the car, they used like a brown, and then they used the orange. So see the orange over there on that side? But solid as a rock, I've had this out before when I did the interior on this car. So all we got left now is uh, this one trim around the back of the car. And we'll have it all detrimmed. I went ahead and did, took all these out. Took the sill plates off. Those are all new. I bought those a while back because they were beat up, the ones that were on it. So we'll put those back on. And I'll probably pick up some felts for it maybe. My felts aren't bad, so I'm going to look at them real close. But let's go ahead and pull this one last piece off and then I'll show you everything all detrimmed and uh, this will be it. So I got a lot of cleaning up to do. You guys see I have parts everywhere, all my chrome, everything's labeled, front and rear bumper, the interior pieces. And when I started earlier today, I had a clean garage. So you guys knew that when you seen the beginning. So I got some of my painted pieces in here still and then the uh, front two bezels the header bezels for the light so let's finish this last piece up all right guys so it was a long day and uh i didn't go crazy all at once i took a couple breaks in between but we got the whole car detrimmed the wheelhouses the rocker moldings the emblems bumpers are off headers off all the trims off and uh we got the handles off all the quarter glasses uh the glasses out mirrors all the trims are off and we got it all detrimmed so we could start getting ready to do the uh, blocking on it so i'm happy all around this here is all solid there's not one rust around this whole piece so i'm finding out more and more this is a really solid old car even here look at this no rust no nothing all in the jams all up inside this car just solid and no quarters were ever put on this car so i got a lot of cleaning up to do and uh i needed a good shower after all this so i hope you guys like the first video of detrimming the car and getting it ready for the job so we got it all done and you guys will be seeing the next uh, episode of this when I start blocking it and identifying where I'm going to straighten up things on it and uh, go from there with it. So thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up and uh, see you next time.